There she is, boys. We've been talking about it a while. Finally, uh, they're here. And of course, I'm talking about gearing. We've been talking about gearing the Mustang for since we got it, pretty much. We finally pulled the trigger. Uh, I listened to y'all's comments, concerns, and inputs. 373 going in the rear end. Now, I know 410 is obviously, they say, you know, the best thing to do, but looking forward, future plans of the car, possible boost. Still, I'm going to be doing some long road trips, so 373 should be money. It's going to be miles improvement above 323. Uh, however, that's not really that's not really what this video is about. Building a motor is pretty gosh darn expensive, and today we're gonna go over everything, the full cost of the full rebuild we did, plus the cost of basically a full bolt-on motor, so you can get something like this. To be honest, it was more expensive than I thought. At the same time though, we kind of got off the hook with some things, but I'll go into depth on that just a little bit later. In other big news on the Cobra Garage front, we are doing license plates now. Usually we do license plate covers, but we got pre-drill holes. You can do anything, any design you want to. We got a whole bunch on the website. Uh, it's down there, or you can click the link down in the description. We're gonna let her warm up a little bit. We gotta run a few errands, and we'll kind of go over the price. You know the general rule they say, just triple what you're expecting? We're about there, we're, we're just about there. Now I wanna go ahead and preface this video by addressing the haters that are gonna say I spent X amount of money to get 282 wheel horsepower, yes. Yes, you're, you're correct. But I gotta say, guys, I don't regret a single penny of it because because of that. It's great. This isn't the end of the build either. We are gonna add more power. We'll see what the gearing does on making it faster. I'm hoping we can get some like drag time tests in there. It's just gonna depend. It's getting a little cold now too, which doesn't really help grip. The purpose of all that though, yes, it was a lot of money. No, it's not the most power in the world, but she is dang fun to drive, and that was what was important to me with this build. And that's what should be important to you if you're building. It's not what other people think. It's all what matters to you. Spinning tires all the time now, which is cool because it makes me think like I have a lot of a lot of power. But the reality is, it's just the road sucks. It just sucks. By no means performance tires though, and hence the shake and bake action we got going on, which I mean, it's, it's fun, so I can't really explain, I guess. Now I do notice watching some clips, when I'm trying to shift with just one hand, my face gets very concentrated. Uh, it's, it's, it's really not easy to, to drive, film, a manual car at the same time. I notice. I'm, working on it. Made it to stop number one. We're shipping out a special package to Brandon Lopez. If you haven't subscribed to him, he just hit 8,000 subscribers. Big congrats. There's a link down in the description below. The cost of the motor just parts 5,800. Yeah, it's five, five, eight, two, zero. It's just, just over there. Oh my God. I am never going to financially recover from this. Now there is absolutely no way of getting around the fact that $5,800 spent on a $1,000 Mustang is it's, it's a small fortune, especially when you're in college. In other news though, who says Mustangs aren't practical like that? There is a silver lining though. $5,800 did not come out of my pocket for this car. Uh, for that, we're gonna have to hop over to spreadsheets. We'll explain a little more there. Don't worry, it won't be too boring. Uh, it'll be quick and painless as quick and painless as it can be. Okay, this, this is gonna take just a, a little bit of explaining. So, everything over here, this is the list of all the parts that have gone into the engine. It's, it's extensive. So everything in blue is either something that came with the car or something that I got cheaper on Facebook. Like the flywheel, I paid like 60 bucks for that. So we're gonna factor all that into uh, the final number. What do you want? I'm filming here, bro. Are you, you here to 
help us with the cost yeah, of the bill? Yeah, I am. Okay, I'm gonna, actually here to loan in a dollar or two to help you out. Uh, you know, I do appreciate that do very, very, very much. I actually don't have the dollar right now. Can I put it on a loan? Sorry. So you're you're wanting to loan me a dollar, but you want me to loan you a dollar to loan me a dollar? Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. So how much did you spend? It's, well, we haven't gotten that far yet. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. We're, okay. Back to the spreadsheet. Spreadsheet. So everything in blue is uh, something I got for cheaper, so it's not, not too important. This is all the miscellaneous parts I was talking about. I'm sure I'm missing stuff, but, you know, what can you do? So, this is where the stuff matters. All the supplies ended up being like a little over $720. Motor parts, $5,843, which is expensive, which brings the grand total to $6,500. And sixty-four dollars and fifty cents. Now that is if everything was brand new, which it wasn't. So out of my pocket, including uh, stuff that we sold, which is over here, I made back one thousand one hundred fifty dollars on stuff that I sold from the car. Uh, out of my pocket, we're looking at three thousand three hundred and sixty bucks, which is a lot more reasonable. Now, what y'all are probably wondering is what would this cost if I did it myself? So, I did another number over here, which is just the bolt-on cost pretty much. This excludes the parts for the motor rebuild. Uh, if you just wanted all the parts I have, the intake manifold, all the way down to injectors and all that, brand new, you'd be looking at $4,030. That's not which too bad. I, I, thought, I thought it was going to be a little less, but $4,030 if you want to do a full bolt-on. Now I know, I know, 4,000 whatever dollars it was uh, for a bolt-on Mustang that is 20 years old and makes 282 horsepower is a lot of money. It is, that is very true. And you're probably asking how to justify that. And that's a very difficult question to answer. So for me, this whole thing has been such a big learning experience. I didn't know anything about building a motor or anything like that, so that's what this car was about. It's not about how much money I spent, not about how much I can make on it when I sell it, which I probably won't. It's all about learning, building the car, having something that I put my pride into and made my own. So for me, that $3,600 I spent out of my pocket to build this car was totally worth it. Even if we're only putting down 282 wheel horsepower right now, all that money was very well spent in my book. So if you are wondering what that $3,600 out of your pocket will get you, or in the case of full bolt-on, a little over four grand, here's the engine bay. And I gotta say, Every time I look at this thing, I'm so blown away and so happy, so blessed and thankful that we were able to do it. Now, the engine doesn't match the car, which is pretty obvious. The car is, it's kind of beat up. It's a little rough around the edges. The engine though, looks very nice. Now let me know what you think about the color. This has been a, a pretty big debate on whether it's a, a yay or a nay. There's, a, <laughs> there's been a lot of controversy involving the powder coating, but that's that's an issue for another time. I think it looks sick. Let me know what you think. Was it worth the money I spent for powder coating? Some people like it, some people don't. So as you saw in the beginning of the video, gearing is coming very soon. 373 gearing, we're gonna slap it in there. The matter of, it's a matter of finding time right now because we're, we're kind of just, just a little bit busy. We are gonna do a big comparison between the 373 when it's in and the 323 that's in it right now. We're gonna get some quarter mile times, some zero to 60 times, all that juicy stuff. See what we can get. The only problem is, traction yeah we don't have it so it's gonna be not as impressive as we like but it'll still be cool now with that let me know what you would like to see on the mustang there's a whole build plan for this car it's just gonna take a little longer because we got to allocate some funds but that will all come with time i know plastic dips come in a whole bunch of body work wide body stuff who knows we'll just we'll shoot for the moon now i hope you learned something in this video and hopefully this inspired you to go do your own new edge mustang build these cars are kind of disappearing uh, but they need to make a comeback so if you have any questions please drop a comment down below if you want to see all the other crazy mustang stuff we have done make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out our last videos but until next time y'all be sure to take it easy always remember to keep the classy and we'll catch y'all very soon that engine feels good, yeah. yeah.